Welcome back to SCTV On Air with your beloved host, Kylie. And Rachel. We hope that everyone has enjoyed their day off on Monday. We certainly had an eventful three-day weekend. Yeah, the poetry slam went great. Everyone was so moved. They started crying and throwing roses and everything. <laughs> that did not happen. It happened in my heart. Uh, so speaking of your heart. Oh, here we go. Why are two hearts better than one? Because two hearts can't be beat. Like a heartbeat? Look who's the poet now. Uh, you, you know something that is better than poetry? No. Video games, which will be ranking with Abby on Ranker. Hi, I'm Abby Sanders, and today I'm joined with... Rachel. And Kylie. And today we're playing Ranker. Okay, we're going to do the top five video games of all time based on Parade.com. Okay, here are your options. Try to get it as close to the list as you actually can. Okay, Pokemon, Tetris, Minecraft, Wii Sports, <laughs> Wii Sports, or, or, or Super Mario Bros. Um, I've only ever played or Minecraft, so. Okay, it's, okay. Um, I feel like Wii Sports, put that at number one. Like that Tetris is gonna be like four. Well, like, Tetris has been around so long, too. Oh yeah, that's what, that's why I was like, oh, four, because. Because the other one's probably ring. Okay, do you, yeah, I'm gonna, for me, I'm gonna say, wait, yeah, I'll say, like, Wii Sports number one, sure. Like, I'll go, I'll go with, well, one or two. Because mine, what else was the, oh, Super Mario Bros., that was, like, that was at least two. Like, I feel like that would definitely yeah. be, like, a two or one. Minecraft's um, probably three, just because it's Minecraft. And then the Maybe other one. the Tetris one, four. What Pokemon. Yeah, Pokemon. Oh, but that's good. Ugh. Pokemon was not as popular as it used to be, but it's like of old time. But I don't feel like, I feel like Pokemon reached a specific demographic for a long time, but now yeah. like even that group has gotten smaller. Where Wii Sports, <laughs> literally anyone can play that. Anyone who just wants to play, you know? So I put that, I, I mean, we could do Pokemon four and then Tetris five. Yeah, okay, cause. Okay, so you're saying one is Wii Sports, two is. What's two? What did we say? Uh, Super Bro, Super Mario yeah. Bros. Super Mario Bros. Three Minecraft. Four. Pokemon, Pokemon five. five. Yeah. Okay, that's what you're going with. I guess. Okay, <laughs> here's the ranking. Number one is Super Mario Bros. Okay, we're close. That's like we're yeah. Close. Number two is actually Tetris. <laughs> Maybe because it has been around. It's, yeah, and it's this is gone. it's like of all time. It seems so, like like a like a passing time game. Yeah. My <laughs> so grandma plays it. So. Um, three is Minecraft. Yeah. Yeah. I actually thought Minecraft was going to be higher, to be honest. I mean, four is Pokemon and five is Wii Sports. Are you kidding Wii me? Sports? Why so low for Wii Sports? At least we got Pokemon and Minecraft, right? but Wii Sports well, should not be that low. I would have put Wii Sports there, but I was just like, okay, number one, well, sure. So many people love the Wii for but so long. Also, I feel like some people might not have, that's like a 3D like a thing, so people might not have like access to like that. Because isn't Wii Sports like you have to have a camera and stuff and it like monitors like your movement and stuff? It's like, it's a, you just need a Wii. There's no camera on that. It's oh. old. I feel like most people had like Xboxes and stuff. So that's probably why it was so low. These were the original Xboxes and stuff. You used yeah. a controller. Everybody had a Wii back in the day. <laughs> yeah. Wow. Wow. <laughs> okay. Passionate. She's passionate about the Wii. Okay, yeah. Well, Wait, what was Pokemon? Pokemon was uh, four, four. four. So we got Pokemon. Oh, okay. Honestly, I would have put Pokemon a little bit lower because Pokemon. It was like really big and then just like died out yeah. really fast. I don't it was, like it went from. I like, never knew the hype. I was like cool. Or something to a <laughs> like it was a. It was so many things. It was too many things. And then honestly. Pokemon Go. We yeah. Walk around. Yeah. So, like, I never liked that. And like these are confusing because like <sighs> Tetris also became a board game. Did you know that? No, I didn't. There's like a you can like <laughs> buy like these things and like do the Tetris against your friends and stuff in person. Like they have a board game, a video game, and then like the old like game things from like in those arcades from back in the day. So like, what are we counting all those too? Like, oh my goodness. This I think it's just the video game. Oh yeah, okay. yeah. It's still late. <laughs> okay. <laughs> well, that was your video games, and thank you for joining me, Rachel and Kylie. You're welcome. <laughs> okay, and see you next time on Ranker. <laughs> People need to appreciate the read for all that has given us. Friends, foes, love, hate, baseball, and golf all together in one place. <laughs> More like silly characters and anger issues. Okay, hater, buddy coming from the Minecrafter, go build a dirt house and leave me alone. I didn't mean anything by it, it's just the truth. The truth is that Sim 4 should have been on the list. 
number one at the top. Or just The Sims in general. Honestly, and where was Animal Crossing and all of this? Seriously. And Tomodachi Life, right? Uh, I don't know what that is. Come on now, Kylie. I thought we were in sync. I'm sorry. Yeah, you are sorry. Sorry that we had to cut this conversation short to move on to College of the Week or Cow with Davin. This week's College Spotlight is on the University of Memphis, a public research university founded in 1912 in Memphis, Tennessee. The University of Memphis is the second largest public college in Tennessee. Its school colors are blue and gray, with its mascot being a Bengal tiger named Tom. It is ranked number 145 in top public schools and number 27 in best online colleges in America. Memphis has a 95% acceptance rate and a 58% graduation rate. On top of this, it has a 28% four-year graduation rate. The school has over 250 areas of study, and over 40 of its programs are ranked nationally. If that all sounds good to you, then you can apply now at memphis.edu. Ah, yes, Memphis. University of Memphis. Yes, go Tigers and whatnot. Actually, my mom graduated from this college. It's a pretty great school. Wow, I can't believe I didn't know that. Well, here's something you might know. Why does why do cats make terrible dance partners? Oh, I don't know, because they got no tongues? No, because they have two left feet. Get it? Because they got oh. two left feet, two right feet, oh, no I arms. I get it. Uh, uh, I think that joke was my favorite so far. Really? No. But on the topic of favorites, let's move on to People vs. People, where we discuss our favorite superheroes. Welcome to People vs. People, where we are you, as people. I'm Rachel. I'm Kylie. I'm Michael. And I'm Dad. So today's topic is, what is our favorite superhero? And I feel like this one's going to be easy for the majority, but I want Michael to go first, so I'm curious what he's going to say. <laughs> okay, so this is because of, like, this is because of comics. This, this has nothing to do with movies. If we're going comics-wise, I'd probably say The Flash. Amen! Wow, I'm really surprised you said that. Wow, I also love The Flash, if you couldn't tell by my screaming. You should see my bedroom in my closet. Flash. I wore a Flash shirt yesterday to church with, like, matching attire and stuff. Yes. Hallelujah! How you do it? Oh my gosh. Amen, amen. Because, like, the entire concept of The Flash is... Fantastic. He's a guy with arguably the most powerful superpower that you could have, but he's so restrained because yeah, his entire thing is to do good. really good person. He goes yeah. out of his way to, most of the time, not even hurt his villains. Literally. And he can, like, travel through time, but also be, like, he can travel around the whole world, too. Like, he can do so much more than the average Joe can, you know? He's not no, like, Batman with a little boomerang. Like, he has, <laughs> he has spice in his life, you know? Oh, and just with Spider-Man, because who doesn't like Spider-Man? <laughs> <coughs> oh, sorry, I had to clear myself. I like Spider Man too, but that's not a great reason. That's no, not. I don't yeah. have a good reason. Yeah. I just clipped the crap. My favorite is uh, Iron Man, just because, I mean, he set up the MCU. Uh, Iron Man, just because, I mean, he set up the MCU. He's a self built superhero. He literally built everything revolving around him. And I love the storyline of him going from a narcissistic. Uh, just a horrible person to having a change of heart and fighting for good, you know? You would. <laughs> what? What? what does that mean? <laughs> that's not a bad thing. You would. Yeah, that's a bad thing. I saw the movies. Mind. The movies were iffy. The character has its own interesting qualities, but Flash is still number one on top. For real, for real. Actually, while we're here, what's y'all's favorite superhero movie? Superhero movie? Mm. Or just film, TV show, whatever. Oh. I know mine right off the bat. Okay, then say it. Logan. Hmm? Logan who? Logan. The movie. Who's Logan? Wolverine. Oh! That movie goes beyond superhero movies. That movie is great. The old Wonder Woman from like the 19, like 80 something something or something like that. That show is so freaking good. It's like literally only on DC Comics. Like they're like 
app, like the app that you can purchase, but it's so freaking good. I highly like to say, like Kim Kardashian dressed up as her, someone in that family. So like, she, it's so good. I know she hasn't seen it. She's not iconic enough for that, but that show's so freaking good. Oh, movie. My favorite movie, uh, superhero movie was uh, Thor Ragnarok, which wasn't Iron Man, like my favorite hero, but that movie is like one of the funniest in the MCU. And that scene where he's walking down like the bridge with the music playing, it just it hits so hard, dude. Yeah, I don't, I don't know what you're talking about. I don't know any you guys <laughs> talking great. about, so. Ooh, we got a minute. Well, that's all for People vs. People. I'm Rachel Holman. I'm Kylie. I'm Michael. And I'm Devin. Bye. Bye. I can't believe how predictable people can be. Is that a jab at me? Yes. Uh, well, maybe Spider-Man is just a better choice. Well, at least I'm original. Uh, Mikey said The Flash was his favorite, too, so that's not very original. Anyway, I think that Davin choice was the most unacceptable. But stop hating. Never. On to a joke. What makes an octopus laugh? Tentacles. Hmm. I would have thought the answer was eight tickles because they have eight tentacles. So. Well, that's all we have for this week's show. Wow. If you want to be our new star of the show, then let us know so you can have your chance at Red Hawk fame. And don't forget to stop by next time for your weekly dose of your favorite host.